Ayurveda's approach to Parkinson's has been from its very beginning to look into the uh, again the presentation, um, all the symptoms that are being there. How are those symptoms manifesting? What has led to the progression? Is it uh, the contributory factors of diet, lifestyle, state of mind, coexisting medical conditions or side effects? S various OHAs which are being used for diabetes are have been quoted in clinical trials to cause um, you know, a correlation with neurodegenerative condition like Parkinson's. So, all of these contributors are being understood, patient's metabolism, chronic inflammatory state, all that is understood and which is mapped with the presentation. With this presentation, there is confirmatory diagnosis which is done with, uh, with the conventional markers like MRI brain and uh, various scans that are used to pick the dopamine activity and with that, uh, we try to come to a confirmatory diagnosis with clinical examination and with that the stage and the severity of Parkinson's is being done. Once that is done, we uh, again have a treatment plan which is between a physician and a patient agreed upon that which are the current um, symptoms that needs to be addressed which are the underlying comorbidities and contributing factors to chronic inflammation that needs to be addressed and what is the way forward how do we manage once we try to achieve some of the uh, uh, relief in those symptoms so based on that we plan we also see lot of patients at ayurved who are on heavy dose of sindopa and that contributing to side effects uh, which are known side effects like hallucination, tremors, disturbed sleep, disturbed state of mind, uh, disturbed uh, gastric issue like gastric function, constipation, etc., weight loss. Some of these common presentations when patients are heavy on these medications. So, at that point of time, there is a new normal or kind of a new pathogenesis which is set in which is not just because of the disease but which is also because of the side effects of these medications. So, we try to understand this completely and then from that perspective of whole person care for Parkinson's patients, we try to rule out, we try to derive and craft out a treatment plan and a treatment prescription. Typically, uh, Parkinson's patients come with a presentation where there are there is motor involvement and uh, there are also coexisting comorbidities like diabetes hypertension dyslipidemia fatty liver etc and with that to get a grasp on the presenting complaints on the interlacing factors that are there we need to go phase wise to address the inflammation to carry out a cleansing, intensive cleansing and then to help the patient to work on his state of mind, behavioral issues etc. So, in and all a good uh, number of days of about 3 to 4 weeks along with physical rehabilitation is what is typically planned for a condition like Parkinson's.